Sonderkraftfahrzeug or Special Purpose Vehicle 234 was an eight-wheeled armed reconnaissance platform utilized by the German army during World War II. Utilizing revolutionary ideas, the 234 fitted ever-improving armament onto a highly adaptable hull to create a fast-moving, hard-hitting weapon. However, the vehicle was lightly armored and produced in limited numbers, barely falling into the ever-changing doctrine of the German armed warfare, a doctrine now convinced of the validity of assault guns and heavy tanks. The first trials with the prototype started around July 1942. Due to problems with the excessive noise of the first engine, power was provided by an air-cooled Tatra 103 diesel engine. The 234 was the first and only German armored vehicle to use an air-cooled diesel engine. On an internal fuel capacity of 360 liters, the system could hit ranges out to 620 miles on roads and 370 miles cross country. The 234 was crewed by four personnel made up of the driver, commander, loader and gunner. Armor protection was thickest at the front at 30 mm and limited to just 8 mm along the sides. The first version, the 234-1, had a simple open turret armed with a 2 cm gun. It was manufactured from middle 1944 to early 1945. The best known version was the 234-2. It had a turret armed with a 5 cm gun. Production began in December of 1943 and would complete it in June of 1944 with 100 vehicles delivered. The 234-3 produced simultaneously with the first version and it served as a support vehicle for the reconnaissance vehicles. It had an open-top superstructure in which a short-barreled 75mm gun was installed. This gun was intended for use against soft targets However, when using a hollow charge shell, the penetration power exceeded that of the 5 cm gun. This variant was produced from middle 1944 to the end of 1944 before switching production to the 234-4. The final variant produced was the 234-4, which was armed with a 7.3 mm PAC-40 anti-tank gun. This was yet another attempt to increase the mobility of the anti-tank gun, however the 234 chassis was stretched to its limits. Essentially it was a desperate German attempt to produce a viable tank destroyer in quantity. This variant was manufactured from the end of 1944 to the end of hostilities in 1945. In the end only 100 of these vehicles were fielded before German capitulation in May of 1945 and their effectiveness was never fully proven. The 234 proved useful on the eastern and western fronts. It was commonly used in pairs, one equipped with a short-range radio communication kit while the other possessed only a short-range radio. The long-range unit was identifiable by the large star antenna on the left side of the vehicle. Some 2300 234 models were ultimately produced before the end of the war. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.